So first step will be to sieve the flour. So we just want to make sure that there's no lumps so that we can really coat this flour in the butter and also to aerate it so that we have a nice light crumble. So once that is sieved in, we are then going to add in our butter. So as you can see, I've already cubed the butter just to make it easier. So nice small cubes. It must be refrigerated butter. We don't take it out to soften first of all. If it melts, it will mix with the flour rather than coating it. So what we want to do is create a waterproof coating. We want to basically give it a little bit of a, an anorak so that it stops the flour from absorbing any sort of moisture which would then expand the starch within the flour. By putting the waterproof coating on, it keeps the flour short. It doesn't allow it to expand because no water gets in because of the waterproof coating of the butter. And this is what we call the shortening process. So we're keeping those gluten strands short to give that crumbly texture. So fingertips, don't want to be using the palms of our hands. That's where there's a lot of heat. If your hands are really, really warm, it might be worth rubbing them under cold water first of all. And we are using our fingers and our thumbs to twist. So you're wanting to use this kind of action with your thumbs and your fingers. And in between, keeping that mixture cool by lifting it. So we're getting those air particles in between each time that we are rubbing in. So that we're keeping that flour and the butter cool. So it doesn't melt the butter to allow us to coat the flour with the butter and give it that waterproof coating. So I'm going to keep rubbing this and what we want to do is look for a breadcrumb consistency. So the flour will no longer be seen. All you'll be seeing is the butter. So the mixture will go from a white mixture like this now with lumps of um, butter in it to what will something that will resemble breadcrumbs. So it'll be a, a yellowy colour and they will look more like breadcrumbs rather than grains of flour. So I'll keep going like this and then I will bring back the video once we have got to that stage.